Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So if you love cheese, then today's your day. I'm going to show you how to make a couple of amazing cheese appetizers that you can serve any time of the year. So if you want to see how I make them or what I'm talking about, then keep watching. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And let me thank all of my new subscribers. Don't forget to click on that notification bell just in case when I do drop a video, you'll be the first to know, okay? So enough talking, let's go ahead and get cooking. So this cranberry cream cheese log is gonna be really simple to make. So the first thing I have is a half a cup of chopped nuts. And right now I'm just gonna take a knife and just run it through it because I thought the nuts were a little bit too big and I wanted to make them a little smaller. So that's what I'm doing. And I really love walnuts, one of my favorite things to snack on. So I'm gonna set these to the side and get started chopping a half a cup of pecans. And yeah, just run my knife through it and make sure that these are uh, smaller pieces as well. So walnuts and pecans are the only two nuts that I'm gonna use for my log. And right now I, I've already measured out a cup of dried cranberries. And again, like the nuts, I'm just gonna take my knife and run it through it. And right now I'm just gonna chop a fourth of a cup of some chives. And if you can't get your hands on some chives, just cut the green part of a green onion. Okay, so now I'm ready to put together the cheese mixture. So in a separate bowl, I'm gonna add nine ounces of some cream cheese and make sure that it's at room temperature. It just makes it so much easier to mix together. And now I'm gonna add one cup of some shredded cheddar cheese. And now I'm just gonna add half of the chopped nuts that I chopped up earlier. I'm gonna use the other half to roll the cheese log with. So just add half of the walnuts and half of the pecans. And right now I'm just gonna grab a spatula and begin mixing and combining everything together. And this is why you want your cream cheese to be really at room temperature, just so that it would be easier to mix together. And again, I'm just gonna add half of the chopped chives and add that into the cheese mixture as well. And at the very end, I'm gonna take half of the dried cranberries and add that and take the spatula and fold that in as well. And you know what, give it a good taste test. If you wanna add some, you know, salt or pepper, I personally didn't need it, but if you want it, you can add that at this point. Okay, so that's it. Those are all the ingredients I'm gonna use. Just very simple, simple ingredients. So at this point, I'm just gonna take a plastic wrap and I'm just gonna take the cheese and I'm gonna add it to the plastic wrap. And make sure you add it all, don't miss anything. And now you just wanna wrap the cheese mixture with the plastic, as you can see. And make sure that it's completely wrapped because you don't want any of it spilling out. And now you wanna take your fingers and begin rolling and molding your cheese mixture into a log. Okay, so this is what your cheese log should look like. And before I do anything, I'm just gonna let it chill in the refrigerator for one hour. Now let's get started on the next cheese appetizer and it's a baked feta cheese. Now I'm gonna take three big garlic cloves and I'm gonna separate it from the paper. And I'm just gonna take my knife and just roughly chop it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can slice it, you can chop it or you can use um, the already chopped garlic. Me personally, I just like chopping my own garlic, but because I really love garlic, so I'm gonna run my knife through this garlic. And I have a half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes, and I really love sun-dried tomatoes, you guys. I've been using it recently a lot, something I really highly recommend. They're delicious and sweet, and they really go well with cheese. I also have some olives, and these are the olives that I like, stuffed with blue cheese, but you can use whatever olives that you like. Now this is the start of the show. I have a block of feta cheese, and I have a baking dish, and I'm just gonna set the feta cheese in the dish. And I went ahead and I measured out maybe around a cup of olives. It just depends on how big your olives are. If you want the smaller ones, you can add more if you like. And once the olives are in, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the sun-dried tomatoes. Now I'm gonna to put together a delicious olive oil mixture. So I'm measuring out a third of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. I'm adding the garlic that I chopped up earlier along with a half a teaspoon of dried basil, a half a teaspoon of dried thyme, 
a half a teaspoon of dried oregano, and a half a teaspoon of fresh rosemary. And at the very end, I'm just going to add a little bit of sea salt and black pepper. And just take a spatula or a spoon and mix everything together. And once it's all mixed together, you want to take it and pour it all over the feta cheese block. And of course, some of it's going to run to the side. So just take a spatula and just kind of marinate the olives and the sun-dried tomatoes with that olive oil. And I've already preheated the oven at 350 degrees and I'm going to bake it off for 20 minutes. And the last two minutes, you want to put it on broil. Now while that's baking off, I put together the rest of the nuts, the chives, and the cranberries. I mix them together. I'm going to spread it out because an hour went by and I have the cheese log and now I'm just going to roll it into that mixture and just keep rolling it until it's completely covered and you know what if you're a fan of goat cheese this would be a great recipe for goat cheese especially if you're not a fan of cream cheese but this is what it looks like and that's pretty much it you guys this is such an easy recipe and also this is a great recipe to add to your charcuterie boards if you're planning on making those for the holiday season but like I said earlier, if you want to try it with some goat cheese, I've actually had this with goat cheese and it's just as delicious. You should definitely try it. But look how great that looks, you guys, with all the colors and the cranberries and the cheeses and all the nuts. Absolutely delicious. So let's take a look at the feta cheese. But this is what it looks like straight out the oven. Really delicious. And add this to your cheese appetizers as well. Really amazing and super easy. But we are done, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Share it with everybody you know. Follow me. Tag me on Instagram. Take a picture. I would love to see it. And if you give these recipes a try, comment down below and let me know what you think. Now wait you guys, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscriber button down at the bottom. And if you want to see another video, go ahead and click that box you see over there. But until then, thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you all and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye bye.